we are going to see if this low-income rental is going to make you some money. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm James Wise, you're watching Holton Wines TV, and Michelle, this show's all about you. This property right here, all about you. You actually sent me this particular property, and uh, Michelle, you're a longtime viewer of Holton Wines TV. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that. Everybody else, take note, man. Be a longtime viewer. Hit the subscribe button like my girl Michelle. And Michelle... You definitely, uh, ha I could definitely tell that you've been watching for a long time and you have a lot of similar thoughts uh, about the real estate business like I do. And you actually sent me this property, right? The address is um, bah, 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 3501 West 60th, right? And you did a little bit of research per your research, okay? You uh, noticed it was on the market for like 90 plus days. You uh, did a little research. You believe it's been owned by the same person since 1996, and they actually lived there until 2016, 2017. At that point, uh, per your research, uh, they turn it into a full-time rental, and you're hoping to pick it up at 59.9, currently listed at 69.9. Uh, you'd like to open up the bidding at 59.9, and you're hoping. Uh, to you know, close around 62.63, right? So 59.9 is your best case scenario. 62.63 is what you're expecting, right? You're expecting some back and forth, right? And me and you, Michelle, we I feel like we're on the same wavelength, man. We think a lot alike. I uh, is actually way ahead of you, right? Uh, I actually looked at this particular property ways back uh, for another client. So first things first, he didn't end up doing the deal. I'm going to get into why. But first things first, I want to show you what I thought about the property at that time. Is we're going to be going into those, you know, lower income type neighborhoods, those CD neighborhoods, right? That's where I've made the bulk of my money, folks, okay? CD neighborhoods, that's where your boy, Jay Wise, has just, you know, you drive down these neighborhoods, man. The Holton Wise signs, okay? They're on all the damn properties, basically, all right? This is our sweet spot, our bread and butter, okay? 3501 West 60th, Cleveland 44102. Just recently dropped in price, right? It's been on the market a little while, got a little stale. So the listing agent, they went and dropped that thing down to 66,009. Hundred ninety nine dollars, and I think it's a damn good price where it's at right now. We have two units. One is renting for four ninety five. The other is renting for seven and a quarter. Now, that's twelve twenty a month. Is that four ninety five unit a little lower than it should? Yes, but I'm just going to calculate the numbers based upon what it's currently bringing, because. It's bringing enough cash for right now to make the move now. Going forward, yeah, you could probably squeeze that rent up. Maybe get it up to like 550 maybe 600 okay? It's a littler unit, right? But uh, the other one, we're pretty much at market rent. Like, truth be told, Holton Wise, when we rent these out, we rent them for $750. they are at seven and a quarter, right? Same thing. And we got uh, a lot of the big ticket items taken care of, right? So when you say things like, you know, the bones are good, this is a particular property where the bones uh, are exactly where we want them to be. So let's check that out, right? Let's see what the listing agent said. Listing agent, they're out of a company called Platinum Real Estate, all right? Investors welcome. Both units rented. First floor rented for $725. Has three bedrooms, living room, dining room, and nicely remodeled kitchen. Second floor rented for $495 a month. Has been completely remodeled. New flooring throughout. Updated kitchen and freshly painted large one bedroom with plenty of storage. Second floor is a nice open floor plan. Here's your big ticket stuff, guys. Roof is only eight years old. Roofs, they last about 30 years. That's about a $7,000 roof. It's nice you don't got to worry about that for about 22 years, all right? Down unit, newer furnace. Down unit, newer electrical panel. Two new water tanks. Very well kept homes. Large yard, uh, close to I-71 and 90 grocery store, Metro Hospital and more. Metro Hospital. It's one of the specific things uh, you talk to me about, Jeff. You'd like 
the metro hospital area, right? You like being near there, okay? Why? Because they're investing a billion dollars into their campus and the surrounding area into low-income housing. So if we're going to be hitting the low-income housing, folks, I'd like to be in an area like this where we see some major dollars being pumped into it, right? You take a low-income area and you throw a fucking billion dollars at it, I mean, you know, I don't see the future, but I don't see how that ain't going to be good, right? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so, you know, cruising through the pictures here, right? Just typical, you know, what you see in these lower-income apartments, right? I mean, nothing fancy, right? You know, beds on the floor, right? That's common, right? When you're in this, uh, you know, asset class, you're in this type of rental range, you know, that's what you get, right? You get people with the, the beds on the floor. I haven't seen any in this unit, but, you know, a lot of times the night the night side tables, right? They're just milk cartons. I mean, that's what you get, right? There's that fresh electrical panel she talked about. There's that beautiful hot water tank and furnace she spoke about, right? Looking good there, okay? Ooh, looking good. That's money right there right nice shiny shiny bad boy there got the living room here unfortunately we appear to be missing a tv i don't know what's going on with that maybe they were shopping that day i'm not sure but uh you know we have no indication from these folks that these people are behind in rent so that's what you get here's the backyard another shot of the bedroom bathroom blah 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 uh, you know, just typical. Uh, there's that shot of that nice newer roof looking good. Just so you know, just want to make sure I clarify this. This is actually, when I said there's the backyard, I was hoping this photo was after it. <laughs> That's what I wanted to talk about. Uh, there ain't no garage here, all right? And I know a lot of people, they get nervous at first, right, when they're coming to the Cleveland Market and they see there ain't no garage. It's not a problem. Don't worry about it. Now, there are some municipalities in the Cleveland Market where uh, they have point-of-sale systems, right? And if you don't know what point-of-sale is, pause the video. Show notes below. I got a video about point-of-sale. Watch that, okay? Now, Cleveland itself does not have point-of-sale regulations, so nothing to worry about there. They ain't going to make you build a garage, and you're not going to increase the amount of rent you're going to receive from your tenants for having a garage. We have really old housing stock here, right? We got 100-year-old housing stock. So what is really common, okay, is they had a bunch of these like old little lean-to garages built, you know, 100 years ago, right? These things, they get all jacked up. People, we just tear them down, okay? We just tear them down. doesn't make sense to rebuild them. You don't need to drop $20,000 to rebuild a garage, okay? Uh, it, it does not affect it, and it's actually very common not to have garages in Cleveland. does not affect your rentability, so do not worry about that. That is nothing uh, that is going to hurt your value, okay? Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. Bada bing, bada boom. This thing's looking good, right? Now, 69999. If you had to pay $69.99, Jeff, I think you should. But I'm going to, of course, try to get you a little discount, right? So we'll try to get it for $65. As far as the numbers, even with our current uh, units, seven and a quarter, four ninety five. dollars Again, we could probably squeeze out, you know, get that seven and a quarter one, you know, seven fifty, dollars maybe eight, maybe even eight and a quarter, right? So maybe a hundred bucks there. And then, you know, between 50 and 100 bucks on the other unit. But let's not even worry about that because you'd have to, of course, do a turnover and, you know, you're spending a few grand. So just assuming these two tenants are pretty solid, we want to keep them around. We don't want to really increase their rents because they're very close to market rents, right? So 1220 comes in. I anticipate spending 633 on average. That includes saving 732 for future repairs and maintenance, 732 for future CapEx, even though a lot of those big ticket items, roofs, furnaces, hot water tanks are newer. And also 732 for folks not paying their rent, right? Because these are things that happen in low-income neighborhoods, okay? So not even counting that $2,100 as profit, I anticipate this bringing pure profit to you of about $7,000 a year. That is a 10.8 cap. If we finance the bad boy, you only need 16 Gs to get into the deal. And it's a 28.2% cash on cash return. All right, welcome back, Michelle. So, like I said, uh, that particular guy, he ended up not doing the deal. Reason why we wanted to do the deal, I thought at that time that 65000 made uh, the most sense. I thought sixty-five is what he was going to have to pay. This particular guy, 
uh, he, he was more in line with your particular thoughts. He he put a value in the 62-63 range, and he didn't want to pay any more, right? So we submitted those offers, and uh, sellers just stonewalled us. Nope, no way. We want list price and list price alone. List price is all we're taking. We have no interest in, in not even a penny off, okay? So, Michelle, at that time, I thought 65 was reasonable, uh, new information, right? Going back and forth with the sellers uh, once over with another guy who said, nah, screw it, I'm not interested. We moved on, right? I'm doing a lot of deals with that guy. So he, he comes up with his top number, and then he moves on if they don't hit it. And that's what everybody should do. That's a smart way to do it, right? So the sellers have stuck their, uh, you know, drawn their line in the sand at 69.99, right? My opinion, 65K is the proper price uh, to try for but I also believe if it makes sense at 65k 5k one way or the other on the acquisition guys I don't really think that matters in the grand scheme of owning this particular property but your thoughts thus far Michelle are 62 and 63k is where you want to be so do I think the deal is good at 65 yes do I think the deal is just as good basically at 69.9 yes however it's your money. It's your business. It is your real estate portfolio. So you tell me what you want to do. If you want, uh, we could submit another 62, 63K offer if that's what you want to do or a 59.9K offer. We could do that, but I'm telling you, that's not going to go anywhere, right? The sellers have already said, no, screw you. Not interested, right? So if you really want to get serious about acquiring this property, uh, I would suggest maybe a 65K offer first if they're still like, nope, this is our line in the sand. It's 69.9. Uh, which is a very possible thing they could say. It's up to you, Michelle, if you want to go up to 69.9. So you let me know, reply to this private link, what you'd like us to do. We will submit any offer you like, and the decision is 100% yours, Michelle. It is your choice. And what you can do, if you think 69.9 is too much, do what my previous client did. Say, you know what? This is my top dollar, and if they don't take it, great. Who cares? Because, Michelle, I'm going to be making three more videos for you, so we could easily just... Submit your highest and best offer, and then if they don't take it, boom, me and you, we're going to the next property and the next one and the next one, right? Guys, this is a numbers game. It's not about doing this deal. It's about doing this deal at the price that makes sense for you, and that's what we do. So, Michelle, totally up to you. By the way, everybody else, if you want to work with me in the same way Michelle or my previous client Jeff did, go ahead and send an email to sales at holtonweiss.com. Include your phone number. Uh, we'll give you a call, talk to you about our process, talk to you about working together, or if you want, you can click the show notes below, get more information online, or order your package and get started today. Thank you for watching. I'm James Wise. Be sure to smash that subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.